what is up guys got another beautiful day birds are chirping sun's out it's gonna be thundering in a little bit but yeah i got cody going to the shop right now we're building a custom curved screen he told me it's about a 142 inch so um, i'm gonna go check out the room and double check and verify size he's on his way all right let's go see where benny's at in the room and here we are let's check it out so yeah, it looks like they got the left center right cut out. That looks great. Then he's just gonna cut this metal. Um, by the way, guys, this metal is completely safe to cut. This is here to brace the wall when they first put the wall out to level it out before they put sheetrock. So yeah, you've seen this a couple times cutting these. It's actually not holding any weight. It's just in the beginning so they can get the wall straight. So yeah, you can cut those out, move that Smurf tube. Got a Pro 250 center channel, DS250s, all by clips in the left and right. So yeah, they move those guys in. Uh, overheads, yeah, those look good. Oh, cool, you centered them off the seating there. That yeah, looks good, there and there. And then, yeah, you got rears. It's a seven channel system in here. Epson 3800 for projection. Yeah, it looks good. And it's all staying up front, right? Oh. It's all staying up front? Yes. So you have a cabinet? Uh, no, not yet. All right. So yeah, we're sticking on top of a box for now. Um, Mercedes is bringing us the receiver and Benny and keep jamming. Let's get it done. All right, guys, here we got our custom curve. 140 inch screen. It's beautiful with the diamond slash patterns. <laughs> Looks like a bear mold. <laughs> uh, yeah, normally they ship our screen materials in boxes, but this is the first time in seven years that they ship it in a bag. Or they normally ship it in uh, tubes. They ship this one in a bag. So it's, it's virtually unusable, but I want him to be able to use this theater for a couple days. So we clearly got the projector mounted. So we're going to display this so they can use it uh, at least for two more days until Thursday where I can get them a uh, proper screen going. So I'm shipping this one back and getting a proper piece overnighted. Go with the flow. All right, that's the real screen. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so no biggie. They overnighted this to us and we just got it uh, last night. So we came here today, two days later. Cody got his brackets mounted. It's looking good. Mercedes and him did the border and got the screen stretch. So we're just gonna pop this guy up, hook up the Roku, and then uh, yeah, get it all tuned, calibrated up, and we'll do some sound demos. Let's do rock and roll. Guys, we are you know about 90% done. All I got left to do is calibrate. Mercedes is tying this down for temporary. He's getting that rack put in here and he's also getting some seats. So we're gonna help him come back here and help him configure all that when that time comes. Yeah, okay, for now this is the, the setup for the rack. And then um, yeah, all I got left to do is put some black border on the back face of this guy and then uh, tuning calibration and then we'll do a little demo in here and we'll get out of here. Good to go.
Hey guys, thanks so much for staying to the end and watching this one. Please give us a like, smash the subscribe button, and uh, follow the rest of our content and check out all the new stuff that's coming out. See you on the next one. Thank you.